All right, guys, we are down to the last week and a half in Oregon. I'm not freaking out at all. No, not, not freaking out at all. Today starts the big, like, moving everything out kind of situation. So throughout this last week, I've been slowly getting boxes out of this apartment, loading up my CRV as much as I can, and taking trips over to where I'm kind of staging everything for when we have the rental trailer. So today we are having a lot of my friends come over and my parents are coming over to help move all of the furniture out of this apartment. We are gonna try and get all, if if not all, most of the furniture out of this apartment today. At least all of the things I can't carry on my own. So hopefully things will be okay hopefully, because uh, I can't lift that couch by myself. But yeah, so there is a lot of things in here. I'm realizing as I'm packing everything that I'm kind of a borderline hoarder, or I just have enough stuff for a house and I just crammed it all into 600 square feet. I wanna go that route so I don't feel like I'm a hoarder because I've been getting rid of a lot of things, so yeah we'll just we'll go with that <laughs> but yeah and it's a little bit drizzly it's a typical gloomy oregon day And in the meantime, Tennessee is bright sunny skies. It's about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than it is here right now. So I'm not jealous at all. I'm not upset by that at all. Guess we had to take a little bit of a break cause it started storming a lot. It started getting, it started raining really hard. The wind was pushing the rain sideways. Um, things are dying out now. There's blue skies on the horizon. I gave it about 20 minutes of Oregon throwing a tantrum and then we can get back on schedule. Until then, I'm just gonna drink coffee and um, rethink my life choices. If we do end up reenacting friends, taking that couch down three flights of stairs and doing a whole lot of pivoting, at least I hope I get it on camera so that we're not just yelling at each other for no reason. Because if somebody yells pivot to me today, I don't know if I'm either going to lose it or if I'm going to laugh a lot. Ready? Use your knees. So like I was going to grab like one right here. And then like that. Darren just says, here. Pivot. <laughs> Christian says, let me use my chin. Pivot. You oh, so it. which way we pivoted, bro? You didn't specify. Yeah. You guys are one mind. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's... You're gonna need to pivot the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an issue, isn't it? <laughs> Bailey, you gotta clean up behind his cap. <laughs> <laughs> She's moving. She doesn't give a sh**. You're gonna have to pivot, oh. pivot the other oh. way. So back to you. That's what I was trying to What's from? For all the okay, toys. So how we adjust our <laughs> grip here? I'm just grabbing... Grab right here, cushion. like this thing right here. Like I'm like right here, yeah. You're in the it like. Nope, I'm behind the arm. I will figure it out, ready? Right? Whatever. We didn't Dang bring go. it in here and then build it, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at all the toys. Okay. Yep, pivot. Uh, twist if you can. I can't, someone left boxes here. <laughs> Just step over them. I don't them. know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, so my apartment is now basically empty. Uh, there is no furniture in here other than my bed and as I am recording this bit tomorrow will be my last day at my day job so we have been able to accomplish quite a bit um, in the last week at first when I was doing all this recording I was just gonna probably put it all into one video because I honestly didn't think a packing video would be that entertaining but 
after talking to my friends and family about it and doing some research and all that stuff I decided to do like a little mini packing video and then do the road trip video because I'm not that great at video editing yet and I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I want to format this channel and how exactly I want to format my videos so that is going to be a process for me but once I get to Tennessee there's going to be so much. My life is basically going to be a roller coaster the minute I get there between getting settled in the city and redoing the home and building my business and building this. I would like for this to actually become a thing. It'd be cool to, I don't know, I've been tossing around this idea in my head, so I'm not sure if I'll actually pursue it but I was contemplating starting a blog that kind of went along with this channel. So for every video I did, there would be a blog post that kind of went more in depth. Those would be mainly for like any DIY projects I did. The blog post would go more in depth, like what materials I used, what exactly I did and how I did it and all that stuff. So it would go towards that. Or if I did like a baking video, because I, I bake a lot, so there's probably going to be quite a few videos where you're just watching me bake cakes. And I could do a blog post where I share my recipes and share my techniques and do all of that as well. So I'm, I'm contemplating starting a blog that will go along with this channel. And then maybe once I'm in Tennessee and settled in and starting to do those projects, then maybe we can look at doing a blog. I don't know. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you think because I, I really don't know if anybody would actually be interested in that. So let me know what if you would even read it, if you would even look at it, what you would like to see if I did do a blog. Because I don't know. You run out of ideas. I don't know what's interesting to people. I know what's interesting to me. And that's what this channel is going to be based off of, is what's interesting to me. But I don't know what people would like to read about in a blog. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks guys. What we do? All right, now we get some 